Hi guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. This video is going to cover two basic Kumihimo tools, the disc as well as the plate. Kumihimo is very easy to get into since it's not tool intensive. All you need is either a disc or a plate. The disc is used to create round braids in all sorts of patterns. So here I have a spiral pattern, a heart pattern, a dog tooth pattern, and you have a ton of others to try out. In general, 8 and 16 strands are most commonly used. Your regular adult size disc is going to be about 6 inches in diameter. A smaller kid sized disc is going to be about 4 inches in diameter. The basic components of your disc are the hole through which your finished braid is going to pass. So the finished braid passes top down through your hole. The numbers here on the sides allow you to set up then execute your pattern. So you're going to get a set of written instructions for the setup, then you can simply do your moves. These dots here on the sides are used to quickly position your cords. So if we do a basic setup for a Kumihimo braid, you take a cord and you set it up diagonally. So on the left here, and on the bottom here on the right. Then you take another cord, you set it up again diagonally from the top towards the bottom. Then you repeat again diagonally top to bottom And again, diagonally top to bottom. This would be the most basic setup for a round Kumihimo braid. Now you don't have to go to the store or wait for your discs to come through the mail. You can try out Kumihimo right now. Get the thickest piece of cardboard that you can find. Print out a template for your disc. You can find these online. Glue your template onto your cardboard. Cutting stuff out out of cardboard is not really easy without specialist tools. Still, we can do a pretty good job simply stabbing into our pattern like this. So this is going to be our first pass. In the second and third pass, we're simply going to be connecting the stabs, so the stab marks done in our first pass. So, simply follow the channel. Next, we're going to do our slits, so the slots in between the numbers.
Finally, the hole at the center. Again, I'm going to start with a series of stabs, simply tracing my pattern of the center hole. So after my first pass, I'm going to start connecting the step marks, cutting out a circle. Now it's not going to be a very nice looking circle, but basically we just need a hole. So our disc. The plate is going to allow you to create flat braids in various patterns. So here I have two, one done in the pineapple style, one resembling the gaucho style. Just like with the dusk, you can make your own plate as well. Get the thickest piece of cardboard that you can find. Print out a template Glue it on. Cutting out a plate is actually easier than doing the circle, since here we have mostly straight lines. So again, in a stabbing motion, I'm going to trace out the pattern. Then, in a couple of passes, I'm going to be connecting the step marks. Then the slots Finally, the center hole again, first making stabbing motions, tracing out the pattern. Finally, doing a couple of passes, to connect the step marks. So guys, that's our video. We took a look at discs, plates and how to make one of each. Thank you for joining me and do join me in my future tutorials on Kumihimo as well.